Good day to everyone. I am Chongli Ling from Session 1. In this video, I would like to share my learning outcomes after taking SECV 4213 Computer Games Development in this semester. One of the major highlights of this course was the assigned reading of Game Engine Architecture 3rd Edition by Jason Grigori. This book proved to be an invaluable resource as it covered a wide range of important concepts and practices in game development. By studying this book, I gained a comprehensive understanding of various topics for the game engine architecture. It not only enhanced my technical knowledge, but also provided insights into the overall design and development process of games. As part of our coursework, we were tasked with presenting our understanding of specific topics from the book in the form of short slides. This exercise not only sharpened my summarizing skills, but also helped me internalize and articulate the key takeaways effectively. It was a valuable exercise in distilling complex information into digestible and consist presentations. During the lectures, Professor Shah introduced us to foundational theories and concepts in game development. We learned about essential elements that make up a game, such as rules, mechanics, and dynamics. Understanding these components allow us to analyze and evaluate existing games more effectively. Additionally, we explore various game design principles and discuss how they contribute to creating engaging and immersive gameplay experience. To apply the knowledge game, we engage in practical exercises. For example, we were tasked with designing a flowchart for a paper rock scissors game. This activity helped us understanding the importance of planning and organizing the gameplay logic before diving into the actual development. It taught us to think truth for the interactions and outcomes of player choices and ensure a solid foundation for building the game. The practical aspect of the course involved developing both single-player and multiplayer versions of the Paper, Rock, Scissors game. By following tutorials and leveraging the design flowchart, we were able to implement the game mechanics and create functional prototypes. This hands-on experience allowed us to see firsthand how the game mechanics influence player interactions and shape the overall gameplay experience. Expanding further, we delve into the development of a soccer ball game. We follow tutorials that guide us through the process of building the game mechanics for both single-player and multiplayer modes. This exercise helped us understand the complexities of implementing player movement, both physics and scoring mechanics within the game. It was a practical demonstration of how various game elements work together to create an engaging and enjoyable experience. Moreover, we explore the concept of gamification and its application in game development. Through lectures and additional tutorials, we learn how to incorporate gamification elements like displaying leaderboards from Tenenet into the soccer ball game. These features it added a layer of competition, achievement, and motivation for players, enhancing their overall engagement and enjoyment. Another exciting aspect of this course was learning how to integrate joystick controls into the soccer ball game. We follow step-by-step -step instructions and tutorials to set up joystick input for the game. This expanded our understanding of input systems and allowed us to create a more immersive and interactive gameplay experience. <clears throat> Lastly, this course concluded with a final project where we had the opportunity to apply all of the knowledge and skills we acquired throughout this semester. We were tasked with modifying the existing soccer ball game and unleashing our creativity to explore diverse possibilities. This open-ended project encouraged us to think outside the box and experiment with various gameplay elements, pushing the boundaries of what we had previously learned. In summary, the SECV4213 
computer games development course provided me a comprehensive understanding of game development principles, practices, and techniques. From theoretical concepts to practical implementation, I gained the necessary skills to design, develop, and modify games. I would like to express my sincere thanks to Professor Shariza and Dr. Idora for their guidance and expertise, which make the learning journey truly rewarding. This course has sparked my passion for game development, and I look forward to further exploring and expanding my knowledge in this field in the future. That's all from me. Thank you.